Hi everybody and welcome back to Mr. Petromo's uh, tutorials. Today we're going to learn how to make a YouTube playlist and how to share that out. So the first thing you need to do is to be on your studio. It's a little tricky finding your playlists when you're on YouTube. So let's just type in studio.youtube.com and when we navigate to our studio we will see the playlist option here. So I'm going to click on my playlists and here are a few of the playlists that I've made in my channel you'll notice some of them are locked and private and some of them are public so the ones that i have ready for kids or teachers i make public and the ones that i want to be kept private like my resley machinimas um, those are uh, directions so i just didn't want those out there so i just locked the channel um, so this is where you get to your tutor uh, your playlist so in order to make a new playlist just click that new playlist button and give it a title and just say new playlist and you can set it right here to public unlisted or private most of mine I'm going to say unlisted but some of them I'm getting to the point where a lot of them are public now so I'm just gonna create that public playlist title and here it is and it's empty so you will get the icon up here for uh, there's that there's no content in this in this um, playlist so now we, we are going to go back to YouTube. We're going to get out of our studio, go back to regular YouTube, and I'm going to pick on that same video, <clears throat> share files with Google Meet. I'm going to open that up, and I'm going to pause the ads again. And this time, when you scroll down to the playlist button is right here next to the share button. So instead of sharing, I'm going to go hit the plus for, for playlists, and then all my playlists open up here and I can put it in my new playlist right here. I can also put it in several other playlists. So if it fits two or three categories, you can select more. I'm just gonna put it in my new playlist and then it's, it's already done actually. You don't have to hit submit or save or anything. You just have to check the new playlist and then close the box. Now we can go back to my new playlist and refresh the page. And here's my first video in that playlist. So if I want a series on Google uh, Meet, I can go search the internet for a bunch of videos on Google Meet and add them all to that playlist. And then if somebody asks me, how do you use Google Meet? I can say, oh, I've got the, the best playlist for you. And it will go through a bunch of different skills for Google Meet. And it's really easy. Now, to share it, to share your playlists, so some, some people will want to share these with kids. Some people will want to share these with adults. So all you have to do is go to the share button and it gives you a YouTube link that actually goes to your playlist and not just a single YouTube. So you can just copy that link and then you can go back to your email and paste it in. You can go back to your Google Drive and share it out. You can go post it on Google Classroom or uh, have set up a Google Meet and add that as your um, attachment. So in your playlist, um, right now I only have one file in there. I'm gonna go back to uh, my YouTube search for Google Meets, and I am going to um, pick several of these. Now, of course, you have to preview these first and make sure it's the content you want. But once you have done that, I'm gonna add this one to my new playlist, and I'm gonna close it. And then I can go back to my search and say, oh, this one looks really good. And I can open this one up, and I can add that one to my new playlist. And now that it's becoming a Google Meet uh, playlist, I might wanna change the name from new playlist to Google Meet. Can hit the back button, how to use Google Meet. So there's a lot of tutorials here on how to use Google Meet. So I'm gonna add that one to my new playlist and I'm going to close that out. Now I'm gonna go back to my playlist and hit the refresh button and all those videos that I just added are now in my playlist. And I'm gonna actually edit the name and say Google Meet Playlist. I'm gonna save that and now it gives it a nice title. So when I go to share that and send out that link and copy and paste and send out that link, what actually happens is when you hit the play, button it will start on video one in my list and when video one is finished it automatically goes right to video two so the kids can watch several videos all at once and I can organize them by dragging them up using these two little lines here you just drag them up and 
put them in whatever position you want them to be in for the kids to, um, to watch the entire playlist. Thank you, and we'll see you next time.